It is 2.30 a.m. We have a 4.25 a.m. flight to Dubai where we'll then have another 10 hour layover. I couldn't sleep last night. I tried, got into bed around 10.30, just couldn't fall asleep. So I'm going into this layover on zero hours of sleep, but I'm still gonna crush it. Let's go. We got emotional support falcons on the plane. Hey, I, I feel I feel safe with those on the plane. If, you know, they're gonna if we like if we get any birds that like almost get caught in the engine, take the plane down. They're gonna snipe them first. There we go. Well, I don't know how they get outside the plane, but yeah, you know, airlines need to adapt to different cultures. So you know, in the U.S., a lot of people have emotional support dogs. We are now in Central Asia. People have emotional support falcons. Because here, a falcon is a man's best friend. The, the falcons help people hunt here. They go out, they just send them out, they catch things, bring it back. It's kind of like how like dogs help us hunt in the West. Falcons help people hunt out here. So they form a very close bond and sometimes you gotta fly over. Beautiful bird. Very beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye bye. Those falcons were legit. I mean, I would much rather ride with 20 falcons than 25 year olds. There was actually a five year old on our flight who tried to touch the falcon. I didn't see the falcons trying to touch five year olds. They were very well behaved. What annoyed me though is that the flight attendant saw me filming them with my phone and she was like, delete that off your phone right now. I'll go out the- uh, Please don't make video. Can you excuse me? Can yeah. Excuse me? Yes. Just can you please delete what you did? Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I will. All right. The photo. Come on. If you bring falcons on a flight, people are going to take pics. And if yeah, yeah. those guys are man enough to own a hunting falcon, I'm pretty sure they're man enough to tell me they don't want me filming themselves. Let's go check the downtown for like a half hour, and then our tour starts. Way easier to understand than the New York Metro. <laughs> <laughs> this is the nicest smelling Metro I've been on in my life. Very clean too. Oh, what does it smell? It smells like citrus. Like sandstorm out there. I'll be good. Nothing I'm not used to in China. The smog, smog, sandstorm, same thing. The first step of our desert safari slash layover is hopping on some dune buggies. Call me Donnie Dunes. I was built for this shit. Where are the brakes?
sending it out there. Well, you more so than me. Got some fucking serious distance between you and the ground off that. Yeah, I flipped it earlier. Jesus. I flipped it. I think I'm making gas. Yeah. That was a fucking time. That was sick. Best layover ever. Camera photo? Lean back. Lean back. Okay. Lean back. okay. I even throw? Sit back. Oh. Yeah, there we go. This is definitely a, a change of pace from... <laughs> From the dune buggies. I prefer the dunes, but... I just, I want the reins to this camel. Yeah, ask him if we can ride. If I can, if I can ride a horse, I can, can ride a camel. Dude, these things are not the most comfortable. Imagine taking one of these across the Sahara. No, it's not. Very nice. He loves you. He loves you. <laughs> he loves me, I guess. I highly doubt that. We're going dune bashing. It's when you just drive an SUV through the dunes. This is like a roller coaster. Yeah, yeah I'm sweating seeds back here. We get a little AC. <laughs> I need some fresh air. I definitely need some fresh air. I know how you feel, buddy. Stay strong. That kid is me right now, except I'm stuck in the back seat, so I can't get out. every muscle in your legs. Old Bedouin trick. That's why Bedouins have such strong quads. They walk in a lot of sand. Fuck you, Mountain Dew, you piece of shit! Maybe that will get us Mountain Dew sponsorship. <laughs> or maybe not, because the last line is, Fuck you, Mountain Dew, you piece of shit. <laughs> you know what? Take out more than you bring in. I'm gonna throw this out. Save the deserts, folks. It's not like they aren't already fucked. Ooh, I think they're starting to get ready to do some sandboarding. Now, I have sandboarded once before, so I think this is gonna come easy to me. 
Oh baby, I just love patting the granite. First you gotta wax it up, and then it'll just fucking glide like a butterfly. sand dunes but we have a 10 hour flight and I have no time to shower. I'm all sandy so I'm in the bathroom. This is the best I'm be doing. I know it's gross but you gotta get gritty sometimes. Get clean. I mean 10 hours I don't want sand all over my body so I'm just going old school. All cleaned up. Look at that. Okay reporting live from the Dubai airport. Now Dubai is technically a dry country but they do sell termies in the airport. However, you cannot bring termies outside of the bar. But they do have a hoon lounge, which I'm going to go investigate now. I will not be able to bring termies with me, unfortunately, but I've heard it's nice. I also don't have any hoons. I only have a vape, so I'm probably gonna get a lot of bad lucks, but hopefully I'll be able to bum one. Trade you like a vape grip for a boom for a cigarette. I only have electronic cigarettes. Okay, so you want, uh, you hey. want this? Yeah, that's that'd be great. Would you would you like to, would you like to try this? No. Okay. Thank you so much. Getting some like uh, like a modernist vibe from this place. You know, you got the like sleek furniture with the aluminum aluminum hand rests. This is very fancy. It's almost like a hoon lounge of the future. This is a far cry from some of those dirty dens I was in out in China. Then after this, go back in the bar, crush a few termies, and hop on my flight. This time I'll be going to Hong Kong. Just uh, standing here, downloading some podcasts before I get on the plane. I think I'm gonna listen to the history of pirates. Never listened to it before, but that sounds good. Um, yeah, and you got some sleeping pills? Yeah. I'll take one of those. That, my friends, is how you do a Dubai layover. Signing out. Donnie Dunes.